Hi everybody, welcome back to Island Outdoors 1. Today I'd like to share with you this nice entry level case knife and it's called the Case Trapper. Yellow CV number 3254. Okay, as you can see, these have yellow Delrin synthetic handles. That's a plastic, a very tough, durable plastic. And this is a Trapper model, which is a full-size slip joint knife. It doesn't lock open or close, it just uses spring tension from the back springs. But on your Trapper knife, you traditionally have a long clip point blade and a long spade blade. And uh, I'll back out, give you a better look. The closed length on this is four and an eighth inches. And before we open it up, let's just take a walk around the outside here. There's our nickel silver case shield. And as far as I know, these are glued in with an epoxy, and they're not. In the old days, they used to have actually pin these in, like much like these little brass pins on the handle here. But uh, you know, they have to cut costs when they can. And uh, on this end, we have nickel silver bolsters, and these are called pinched bolsters. See the, the very tips of these is like someone pinched them in. Just adds a nice little detail. And on this end, we have nickel silver bolsters. Very nice. You can see we have brass liners on each side of these back springs. It goes all the way through the knife. You can see all the layers of the brass. Uh, yellow Delrin, very tough, very durable. And cases yellow is it's kind of a light yellow, almost a cream color, but very nice, very attractive. And I think the the yellow Delrin, they have white Delrin on some some of their knives, but uh, I, I think yellow Delrin is kind of like your entry level case knives and something you'd buy to you want a knife you're gonna use that's tough and durable and. You, these yellow Delrins are a little less expensive than their bone-handled counterparts or Stag or Abalone or acrylic handles. Uh, so th these are a nice entry-level knife. So fairly affordable for a case knife. If you want to get into case knives and would like a place to start, this, this would be a good place. So on the blades, you can see we have a nice long clip point blade, full flat grind. And this is the chrome vanadium carbon steel. Uh, I guess you could say it's similar to 1095 steel. Gotta keep it dry and keep it oiled so it doesn't rust. And these will develop a patina. And uh, I don't know if you can hear the car alarm in the background, but that's typical here at my outdoor review facility. I hear chainsaws and car alarms, and there was a lawnmower behind me a few minutes ago, so very uh, sound-filled reviews I do here. Okay, uh, we'll go back to look at the blade tangs as soon as I show you our second blade. And this is a nice, fairly long spay blade. And if you're not familiar with what a spade blade was originally designed to do, it was designed to uh, castrate farm animals. Hmm. Yeah, brutal. Uh, but if you ever heard of uh, Bob Barker on The Price is Right encouraging you to spay and neuter your pets, I, I hope he wasn't talking about doing it yourself with a spade blade. So. Spade blade has a 
it's kind of a safety blade in if you have to have ever have to cut a string near your skin or you know a, a thread uh, I, I would recommend using a spade blade because this top little part of your blade here is not sharpened you can see it's kind of flat and uh, it would be be a great blade for skinning where you could slide that between the, the meat and the skin without that tip digging in every time so the sharpness starts from this part of the tip down the top part is nice and round and as you can see I'm rubbing it on my finger with no no danger of cutting myself so a very friendly blade blade shape and very very useful blade shape so and uh, with the trapper pattern you you get two blades it gives you a lot of variety and options for a knife and this is the full-size trapper like I said it's four and eight inches long so altogether you get a very nice size knife and a great food prep game processing knife for your pocket and a very very uh, historic knife these go back a long time they they've made trapper patterns for a long time a lot of different manufacturers uh, let's see if we can get a good look at the blade tang it's hard to see the stars and dots right next to the bolster here but uh, I'm gonna guess this is around uh, 2014 or 2013 model uh, I, I forgot to look at the uh, date code chart on this but yeah so if anybody wants, if anybody's curious of what year this was constructed, you're, well, it hides it right there, so. But again, you can go to Case's website and decipher the X's and dots and find out what year of construction this, what year this was made, which is kind of nice, but. Yeah, so that's the blade tang of the main blade. You can see it. Can you see that little dot right there? On these carbon steel blades, sometimes you get what they call salt and pepper. And what that is is just a little spot of corrosion. And this actually is not the bad orange or brown rust. It's it's a black. It's a black. And that that is a patina. And I would say this is from me using it somewhere along the line it had some oil from my finger or, or uh, maybe a piece of food I, I cut and, and a little dot of patina started and as your knife ages it'll develop more more spots of patina or you know sometimes they come in little dots and they call that salt and pepper so it's not necessarily a bad thing it just adds a little character to it but uh, on our secondary blade tang here you can see it says USA 3254 in CV that stands for chrome vanadium and uh, you can also get I believe you can get these in a stainless steel too if you would rather have a less uh, maintenance re regimen uh, than the carbon steel which you need to keep dry and oiled so you don't get the bad bad rust on them but uh, in and if you like this pattern but want something a little fancier they they make these trappers uh, in different handle scales and uh, Every year, I believe, they come out with a new color handle scale and design, and that's why a lot of case knives are so collectible. You, you have so many years of different handle scales uh, and variety, and sometimes you can get stainless steel or carbon steel. I prefer the carbon steel, so I, I kind of like these yellow Delarin ones. And, I've carried this some, but I haven't used it much, but very nice.
very nice trapper design so highly recommended by me and you can see the thickness of these I mean if there's if it's in your pocket it it is a, a substantial size but uh, some people don't mind carrying this I mean you could actually put this in your back pocket if you wanted to and buy your wallet or something or if you just have a, a bag or a pack that you have with you every day what a nice knife to have tucked into that for if you need to use this on occasion but I really like it I really like a trapper pattern they have a mini trapper too which is substantially smaller than this so if you like a two blade design and more specifically the clip point and a spade blade design then this is the knife for you uh, thank you for watching please give a thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll see you in my next episode have a good day.